bit more added value to the compound applicator tube, the mud shark, which has been out for a while now. A lot of people have shown a fair bit of interest in it. So we uh, thought we'd show you again just to show the application. We're actually going to run a couple of joints on, filling the recess prior to taping and bend the taping. But another thing we'll show you just after that is uh, how easy it is to fill the flat boxes. Lay them on the floor, suck them right up, pump it in, it's ready to go. Very excellent, excellent for that, actually, it's brilliant. So we'll go ahead now and just fill these couple of joints for you to show you how easy it is. Same with the compound tube, every time you put mud into it, your plunger inside, the piston inside actually stops about here. So that is air. As you draw the uh, mud into the compound, you've got that air socket. So what you're trying to do is, like burping a baby, bring the air to the top, get it out, so when you're going along the joint, it goes all nice and smooth. All going well, that's what will happen. You've only got to do this once while you fill the tube, every other time you fill it from there on it should be pretty right. That looks like it about there. Okay, now that we've got the recess nice and full, ready to fill the tape, we'll just go through, bend the tape in, put the skim over, which will fill the whole recess nice and flat. Uh, and through the drawing process, that'll actually shrink back a fraction, and the second coat will accommodate that beautifully. Just off cat, you can see it's very simple, the joints have been batted in, tape's in, I've got a skip cut over the tape, which is drawing the back in. Nice and clean in the corners, nice straight lines, so when you come along with a flat box on the second coat, it goes over beautifully, taping in your internals, you're not cutting through the recess, everything's a good flat plane. So we'll step now on to the uh, filling of the flat box, I'll grab one of those and just show you how simple that is. Uh, we've now got the flat box of 200mm or well, the 8 inch. What we're going to do is lay it on the floor and fill it. The reason why I like to lay it on the floor, I don't want it falling over and break because of the cost. Also, when you finish expelling material, the, blade, the plate pushes in. So as you lay it on the floor, it opens up, which gives you a whole cavity, complete cavity inside.
for the uh, bud shark just to fill that bud. So we'll just do that now. Simply just put the head in the box, push the head off. It's as easy as that. So, uh, we're not obviously not going to cut these joiches yet, we have to wait for it to dry. But uh, your box is now full, uh, uh, limited, you, you're not even closing the lid. So, you're all set up, ready to go on the second cave on this, once this is dry. But that's how easy. The uh, mud shark can fill the box. Either the two, 200, the 250, and the 300 box fills them beautifully.